Greetings and beautiful people, and welcome back to another Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood reaction video. So, 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 episode 40 just decided to give us every answer we wanted. It was like, here's all the answers, here you go, enjoy. It's like, oh, it just came out of nowhere. It literally came out of nowhere. You, you know that meme where it's like, didn't ask? Literally that. I was like, where did this come from? It just slapped us in the face with all the answers. So, now I'm like all flustered. I have no idea what's going on. I'm gonna stop talking. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you're not subscribed, you're breaking my heart. Press that subscribe button, like the video, comment, support the video in any way you want. But get comfortable and let's jump into my first time every action. The Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, episode 41. Where are they? Oh, this is the mines. For some reason I thought these were the uh, tunnels under bricks. This place is like a maze. Try not to get separated. All right. Surely these guys aren't gonna, uh, like... My, my gut is telling me they're gonna betray them, but... You, nah, surely not. <laughs> like, come on, right? Winry, are you okay? I'm fine. Huh? Some dynamite. Fair enough. What's this stuff? Dynamite! Mm. Nah, these are all sopping wet. Relax, they wouldn't blow up even if we wanted them to. <sighs> Enough. Quit dawdling. They could already be after us. Right. Sorry. Can you dry out dynamite or once it gets wet? It's just the storm is finally passed. Start preparing. Yes, yes sir. We can't take any risks with Kimberly and his men, so first chance you get, take out all three of them. Right, yes, sir. sir. Oh shit. I mean, my guess is they're not gonna succeed in that mission. Um, Kimberly is way tougher than they're giving him credit for. Especially now he's got this new Philosopher's Stone. So yeah, if, if dynamite gets wet, is it just it? Like, it cannot be, it can't be, that's it, it's just fucked. Can't light it. You're the only ones to know of this mission. Don't mention it outside of this room. Hey, hold on a minute. You're not planning on killing them, are you, Major? Of course we are. No, I'm not gonna have any part of that. I say we should take Kimberly prisoner and try to get some answers. Do you really think he'll tell us anything? He's too dangerous to live. But we don't know that about his men. I mean, for all we know, he could be manipulating them somehow. Anyone else getting deja vu flashbacks to a certain Galaxy far, far away in a certain conversation. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Forcing them to obey. Too dangerous to be left alive? You would be right, but we can't take such a risk on a possibility. And yet you're still willing to kill them for one. This isn't like it was with General Raven. There might be another way. Have you forgotten the first law of Briggs? The careless are the first to die. You show mercy in this place, and I guarantee it's going to get you or your friends killed. <laughs> We aren't going to be careless. We're killing Kimberly and the two men with him. You won't, though. You, you won't. You're not going to. You, you're not strong enough. Even even Ed, I don't think, could take on Kimberly. I had almost forgotten that he's just a kid. Indeed he is. Especially if he's naive enough to think he won't have to kill anyone. Well, I have to admit that I used to think the same thing. <laughs> so did I. But once you've lived through a couple of wars like we have, you learn some things. Like sometimes, killing someone isn't as hard as letting them live. The Elric brothers have certainly chosen the more difficult path. <laughs> I guess they like to go against the grain. Yeah, but in a way, I envy their conviction. The subtitles are all messed up, by the way. I've noticed that. Like they just, they the last few episodes, I've noticed they've been getting weirder and weirder. But hopefully, you guys are all right with it. <laughs> like I don't really mind it that they cough a little bit. Like, I have noticed they've been getting like a whoever was doing the subtitles got bored What's around this sort of state of the show. Term here? It's a miracle drug used for longevity. <sighs> Could that be the Philosopher's Stone? It says here that it can transform all metals into gold and restore youth to the elderly. And what does this term mean? Aurelian. It's another term for gold. So these notes are centered around immortality and gold. I'm guessing that it's because Mr. Scar's brother was influenced by Xing Yi's alkahestry whenever he wrote them. <clears throat> and why is that? We refer to an immortal as a Shinito. It means a true being. These true beings are considered to be perfect souls. And since gold 
is considered the perfect metal, these beings are also sometimes called Aurelian. <laughs> so in other words, an immortal person is seen as a golden being. In a sense. It comes from the man who brought alchemy to Xing. The legend says he was an immortal with golden hair and eyes. And that's where the term first originated. Hmm. An alchemist with golden hair and golden eyes, huh? Sounds like Ed and Al. Hey! Over here! How fucking old is the... How, how old is the Elric's dad exactly? Guys? Guys, how old... How, how old is he? Guys? Hello? How old is he? <laughs> okay. The exit? Oh, wow, it's so bright. Sounds like the opening to a castle. I was song. starting to wonder if we'd make it. The weather's clear for now. Let's head to Briggs before it turns again. All right, everyone. You're walking. My You're walking oh, into a trap, bro. <laughs> the snow was pretty deep. You should hop on my back, miss, just to be safe. We'll walk ahead to stomp down the snow and make a clear path for the rest of you to follow. Thank you very much. I don't know if I trust these dudes yet. I want to, but I find it hard to trust anybody. Over uh, yeah. in the middle of that snowstorm. Oh uh, yeah, I forgot about that. So you cut straight through, bypassing the mine's twists and turns. <laughs> Why would you even risk that? It was the only way to warn you. Warn us about what? Briggs has been taken over by troops from Central. General Armstrong's gone. They summoned her to Central headquarters. You'll be walking right into their hands if you go there. Well, then what are we supposed to do? Yeah. We can't just hide in the mines. That's what I'm wondering. If they can't go back to Briggs, and they can't go back to the mines, and they can't stay there, the fuck are they supposed to go? Build some igloos and just chill? Like... This is this is exactly what my wife does. No, I'm joking. This is my wife. Like, my wife will be like, oh, we need a plan to do X. And I go, all right, well, how about we do this? And she goes, no. I'm like, okay, well, how about we do this? No. All right, well, what if we do this and then do this? No. And then I'm like... I'll be like, what, what's your plan? She goes, I don't know. I'm like, what the, what, why are you shitting on all of my ideas? Don't tell me all of my plans are wrong. Give me a plan. <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to find some place else. But there isn't any place else. This is not good. Just follow me. Where are you taking us? There's a mountain village called Ospec nearby. It shouldn't take us long to get there. I've been told that some of my people have taken refuge in the slums there. And it's fallen refugee camp? It's not like we really have any other options. Great idea, sir! Let's get going! Fair enough. And it's fallen refugee camp all that way up in the sure mountain. Are you sure about this, Al? About what? Well, isn't Mr. Kimberly gonna be suspicious if you just suddenly disappear? <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry. Brother's got it all taken care of. Three men in this squad. There are five men in mine, sir. Each squad is ready, then. Spread out and carefully search your designated sector. Sir. Yes, sir! Let's get going. Yes, sir. Don't get carried away, Alphonse. There's no reason to call the Major Sir. Uh, it's hard to move around in here. Couldn't you have made this thing lighter? You're strong. You can handle it. Come on. Kimberly's watching. Hold on, brother! Hurry up. Come on. I'm gonna be honest. Mix our impression. Not bad. <laughs> not, it's not awful. I, it did a better one than I probably could. Did you overhear Kimberly say where his squad is searching? You saw that mine shaft in the center of town, didn't you? They're headed down there to search the tunnels. 
I heard him mention that he couldn't trust the northern soldiers, so he's only taking the men he brought with him, sir. Hmm. That makes sense. I guess he's figured us out, then. We'll head them off. Position snipers near the opening of the mine shaft. Yes, sir. How can he honestly think this is gonna go well? It's not gonna go well. Well, like, what the... F what is... It? it feels like a really rookie plan. Check the entrance for tracks in the snow. We'll follow them in if you find multiple sets. Yes, yes sir. sir. Is my guess is also that those two dudes are gonna turn into things as well. Clear. Yes, sir. He's in my sights. The fuck is the name of those things? Chimera. What's wrong? It's Edward. What? Hey, Kimberly. You should probably let the Brig soldiers check the tunnels instead. You could get lost in there pretty easily. The mere fact that you're stopping me is proof that we're in the right place. Now I know that they're down there. And how is that? Look, I want to catch Scar You're just... trying to buy some time for your snipers to get into position, aren't you? You knew about that? I can practically smell the murderous intent in the air around here. It's like a sixth sense I picked up while in Ishval. They're just standing there talking. What should I do? Can you still target Kimberly? Yes, sir. Then aim carefully. What do you mean, aim carefully? What do you mean, aim carefully? How shit are these guys that they got fucking snipe rifles? What? Ed's like 10 feet behind him. And they're there! They're there! You could practically wave at Kimberly from that damn window. They're not exactly subtle. <laughs> like, what the hell is this? Look at this picture. And fire. Yes, sir. Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist. Maha! Miles is probably going to confront Kimberly now on his own, I guess. <laughs> Whose footprints are those supposed to be? The snipers? Hypothetically speaking, if those footprints are supposed to be owls in a snowstorm, I'm just saying. That doesn't make any sense. So I'm guessing it's the snipers, right? Damn you, Kimberly. I can't see anything. But on the bright side, they can't see me either. The odds are even. There's no point in trying to run, Full Metal Alchemist. I think they can see you, Ed. You can't hide from us here. We may not see you, but we can smell you. Shut up! Full Metal! What's going on in there? Edward, answer me! Ninja Miles! These guys are chimeras, and they know how to fight in low visibility! Stay out of here! Trust me! Nice work, Ed. Ow. Falling like that's gonna stunt my growth even more! Dynamite, huh? There's one perk to fighting in a mine. Well, you might want to keep your distance, guys. These aren't exactly cigars I'm holding. You idiot. That stuff isn't going to do you any good. It's too damp. You sure about that? Do you happen to know what dynamite's made of? It's nitroglycerin, isn't it? And nitroglycol. And there's sawdust. Isn't there ammonium nitrate in it, too? Yes, there is. And what's ammonium nitrate made out of? That's easy. Nitric acid and ammonia. 
Kimberly going? That's the thing. Whose footprints are they? That's what I want to know. Where the fuck is Kim Kimberly? Just like mm, I'm just wandering off. What's Kimberly doing? Where's our boy Kimberly going? Ugh, what's that disgusting smell? Yeah, it's ammonia. They're downsized to having a sharp nose. I doubt they'll be of much use to you now. Ammonia is a horrible smell. As Your well. attitude changed really right quickly now that I've lost my hostage. What'd you expect to happen? Let's make this easy. All I want here is for you to tell me everything you know. Oh, is that all you want from me? That's all he wants. I just got out of the hospital, and I don't feel like getting banged up fighting a youngster like you. Not to mention that I don't really have the time, either. <laughs> I guess I'll have to speed things up with this. At least I won't have to search for it now. He's <laughs> fast. <laughs> Too slow! Too slow, Kimberly! And now what are you gonna do? He's lost his stone, and he can't transmute me! Ha <laughs> ha Hey, kick his ass! And now I'm- Now you've what? You think you've won? <laughs> so you're determined not to kill? How admirable of you. You do realize the advantage that it gives your opponent though now, don't you? Instead of finishing me off, you've given me a second chance to kill you. <laughs> That sense of mercy is about to get you in a lot of trouble. Detonated like a damn bomb. Um, also, which one was the strong one? I can't remember if the round one was the strongest one or the other one was the strongest one. One of them is stronger than the other, right? I can't remember which one. I think the one that got thrown into the darkness. I'm not 100% sure though. Are they gonna find that later on? Is that one gone for good now? Must have fallen down the mine shaft. Damn it! I can't let Kimberly get away. You're kidding? No. This has ever happened before, Winry. I don't know. Can you hear me, Alpha? Al! Al! Please wake up! No. Al! Al! Is there something... Is is Ed somehow involved? We've They mentioned it before about Ed, like, perhaps feeding Al's body in a way. Like, like Al's body feeds off of Ed. And that's why Ed, like, eats and isn't growing and, and all this sort of stuff, right? And sleeps all the time, etc. If if Ed is Ed somehow a buffer between that connection as well, and that's why Ed being injured and dying means Al is being pulled more strongly towards his body. What do we do? What do we do? <laughs> I 
won't make her cry. Especially not over something this stupid. to save your life? Yeah, basically. Mm. Well, it's not like we were given orders to kill you. Come on. <laughs> you know, kid, you're gonna bleed to death pretty quickly once I pull this out. Not if I heal it. As soon as it's out of me, I'll close up the wound with alchemy. What? Have you ever performed any kind of medical alchemy before? Sort of. I did some research on it. When I tried human transmutation. Just some research? Your guts have gotta be all messed up. You're gonna need a philosopher's stone to make this work. I'm gonna have to use my own life force. The same way I would use a stone. Huh? <coughs> It'll probably take a few years off my lifespan though. You're this is this is so interesting i really love how the show balances people like in so many movies and so many tv shows and anime and everything have you always wondered and noticed how quickly it is for people just to kill for people just to be killers and kill people and just forget and be like blah 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 just kill everybody right it always seems like a normal person could just snap into becoming a killer like but if you think about your life and you think about real life that's not how it works but in Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood, it showcases exactly how real people would react, right? There's someone in danger, he rescues them, their boss just betrayed them. And in a lot of movies and stuff, you would see them being like, no, we're evil, through to our core, we kill everybody we see. But that's not how a real person would react. Even if they're Chimera, they were people once, right? So I find it really intriguing and refreshing how they're willing to help someone in need because it feels more realistic than them not helping him. Does that make sense? Positive. I don't really oh. have time to think of- Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood really does, like builds its characters well. All characters. About it. If this is really what showing mercy is gonna cost me, then I'm gonna have to learn to pay the price, right? I don't know what you're talking about, but it sounds like you're sure. Ready? <laughs> I'm ready. I've got to picture myself as a single mass of energy. Use the energy, just like the stone. That's it! I am a philosopher's stone that's powered by a single soul! Remember! What it felt like at that moment. Remember how it felt to use souls to harness life. <laughs> Did he make it? You can't kill me that easily. Huh? You mean it worked? Well, I wouldn't exactly say that I'm healed. I rejoined my undamaged organs. And I've managed to stop the bleeding. But it won't last for long. Oh, then you need a real doctor. No, I don't have time for that. What? Hey! I've got to stop Kimberly. It's funny when, like, when Ed ever is ever around anyone who's kind of tall or big, you just see how small he is. <laughs> he's just this tiny little dude. Bless him. Oh, but he's so badass. I love it. Oh, man. 
That scene was horrible. <laughs> that scene was horrible. What a brutal scene. Jesus. Horrible, horrible, horrible. <laughs> rough, rough scene. Before he gets to... <laughs> Oh, man, idiot. There's no way you can fight Kimberly in your condition. Hmm? What is it? Whoa. The stone, huh? I guess Mr. Kimberly must have lost it. Quit calling that freak mister. He's not our boss. Not since he almost killed us. That's a good point. How about we make our resignation official? Let's just hold on to our freedom and let the bastard think we died in the rubble. Well, what do we do with him? We can't just leave him here to die. We do owe him a- Ending song? Is there a new ending song? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, a new ending song? Mm. Um, maybe I should react to this just for Patreon. I can listen to the new ending song. Should we listen to the ending song? Those footprints. I got an issue with the footprints. If that right. So there was a huge snowstorm overnight that would get rid of any footprints. The other people walked in the mine. Meaning that those footprints, there was a lot of them though. That's what's confusing me. There was a lot of footprints. So were those footprints the sniper team? But Kimberly was following them. So it couldn't have been the sniper team, right? So whose footprints were they? And there was a lot. Which would suggest Al? Al's footprints? But again, if it was Al's footprints... Oh no, it was... Or the footprints maybe were leading into the mine? So uh, all I'm saying is... Whoever's footprints they were, the snowstorm should have got rid of them. And if your argument is going to be... Uh, that they were under a canopy. Well, there was snow there. So how did snow get there in the first place? And surely a snowstorm would add to the snow that was already there. But yeah, I don't know. The footprints uh, fry me a little bit. That was, that was very strange. Um, I want to listen to this ending. I'm going to listen to this ending, but I can't put the reaction on YouTube. So if you're watching this on YouTube, there's going to be a cut here. If you want to see my reaction to the full ending, just go on Patreon. Patreon's only $1. Gets access to every single feed. There's no tears, just $1. Link in the description. Let's check out the ending. Great ending, by the way. Like, really good ending song. The situation. I wasn't sure if there was going to be an after credit scene. Great ending song. We're back. We're back for the YouTube reaction. Yeah! I'm interested to see where it goes. So, I, obviously, there's going to be some sort of big showdown. But but what? And who? And who's on what side? And we're on episode 41 now. And where's the lead? And they're now going to this village. I still feel like the good guys are massively outgunned. I feel like Father and the flipping and Salim on their own could destroy everyone. That's even without Bradley and the rest of the damn homunculi. Like, that is a really strong thing. Also, I kind of miss Lust, you know? I kind of miss Lust. <sighs> she was cool. There was two things I loved about her. Her eyes. They were beautiful, both of them. Um, but yeah, man. <laughs> like, ah! Wait, what's going on? So, Kimberly is now following I don't know who. My guess is it is the group, and somehow their footprints are there, and Kimberly is following them, and that'd be my only guess. If that is the case, the, the footprints, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just ignore the footprints for now, and just pretend I didn't even see them. Just because they're a little bit confusing, but yeah, I'm just gonna ignore them for now. We'll pretend I didn't see them, we'll move on, whatever. I'm not gonna dwell on it. It's not that important. And now they're all going to this, like, Ishvalan sank refugee camp or something like that in the mountains is there, are there going to be other people there kimberly i'm guessing is going to follow them there and now there's two more chimera as well who are helping uh edward i do have a bad feeling about all four of those chimera though i'm not that they're going to be bad i don't think they are anymore i think they're probably going to die though um they're like expendable add-on characters that they like to bring in and then kill off that's what i'm that's what i'm guessing is going to happen there and then what the hell is going on with olivia as well like, she went to Central, Briggs is now under Central Command, and what, she's just going to stay there? I know she's trying to convince Bradley that she wants to work with her, she's being smart, she's playing the sides, right? But what happens to her people? She, she's, she's never going to let them kill her people, but they're pretty much saying they're going to, and she's saying, fine, whatever. So, what's her plan? How is she going to stop that happening? What if they just decide to kill her people right now? She's not there to help them. And we know Briggs' soldiers are very much, like, united and will fight back, but... 
How much can they fight back? A lot of questions going on here. The show is speeding up heavily. The cliffhangers are getting worse. So yeah, but I am loving it. And it is one of my favorite anime, definitely. Anyway, I hope you guys still enjoying these reactions. And if you are, like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, my friends, you will see me in the next